In the coyote diorama, one of the foreground specimens, which was a blue echo butterfly, had become damaged to the point where it was beyond repair. Unlike the other butterflies in the diorama, it was actually a real specimen and not man-made. So we decided to reconstruct one and put it in the place of the damaged specimen. So what we did, we got some of the real specimens from entomology and we have two examples of the front of the butterfly and one example of the underside of the butterfly. We took some photographs and then printed them to scale. Originally we were going to take the front and the back and stick them together but the paper that comes out of the printer, the archival paper, is pretty dense. So I decided to just print out the front and to paint on the back using watercolours. It's coming to life. I cut the butterflies out and I basically thinned the paper using a scalpel blade and this would, would make the paper very, very wafer thin, which was important because how the butterfly was positioned in the diorama meant that you could see the underside and the top of the butterfly wing and I wanted to make sure that it was very thin and accurate. In order to build up the abdomen of the butterfly, uh, we decided to use jade, which is a PVA glue, and basically we built it up in layers you could apply the jade just down the middle. It would just give a little bit of relief to that part of the paper. And I also applied some antenna, which were from a very, very thin piece of wire. Once the underside was painted, we used mica flakes, which are a silicate mineral. We got two blues and two purples to try. And because the metal is already oxidized, it means that it's very stable. I then applied the pigments using ethanol to carry them. And it would create a wing like that, so as you moved it, it would catch the light. Just like in nature. Alright, you want to put your little gun on there? Yeah. 